So then, you wanna make a dance video, yeah? First you have to establish which you wanna tell the world through your dance. Maybe you found a nice scenery that you wanna show. Or maybe it's about showing your anger, happiness, or maybe different emotions through movement. First things first, the gear. You'll need a camera, or not. Your phone is more than capable. I'm not saying the camera's not worth it, I'm just saying you don't need it in the beginning. Next, you'll need a tripod, or maybe not. You can just lean your phone on any surface. Get creative, it can be on sidewalk, on a tree, or just get your backpack and lean your phone on it. Next up, the planning. I use my iPad, but you can use whatever you want. Ideally, a notebook. When you're planning your video, you should focus on four points. The concept, the music, the location, and of course, having fun with it. The concept, we'll focus on that later. For now, let's focus on the music. First, choose the song you want to use. You can choose from YouTube's library or through SoundCloud or Bandcamp. Brandcamp, Brand. whatever. But watch for copyright, we all have problems with that one. Now, depending on the song, begin to choose your location. Also, decide if it's gonna be during the day or during the night. I recommend during the day since you can change it in night time in post-production anyways. And also, the lightning is way better when it's natural. Next up, and the most important part, the dance. The most efficient way to express movement is when a friend follows with the camera. But mostly, I feel myself alone, so let's focus on that. What you can do is use post-editing to follow your movement. Personally, I use Final Cut Pro, but you can use whatever software you like. What you should make sure is that your movement connects. For example, if I try to do a move, right, and it finishes here, you can turn it from another scenery, but starting with the same move. Some examples. The position of the camera is also very important. If you film from a low position, it shows dominance, it's dynamic. Shots from up, center and back, depend on the story, can also work. And lastly, the coloring. I personally use LUTs. But you can do the coloring correction yourself. There are a lot of online tutorials for this on YouTube and everywhere. As an ending remark, I want to add that you have to remember that you're doing this for you and only for you. Art is subjective. You don't have to explain it to anyone, ever. At the end of the day, your video will remain a sweet memory of what you're feeling today. So be proud of it.